This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. This is Brand DeLorean, and you are here because we are going to be doing some test hands with the Raid Raptor deck that I went ahead and posted not too long ago here. And um, you guys all asked for this and you guys want to see like what what hands I can kind of combo with and and what that looks like. So right now we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, if you guys want to see anything else, uh, please leave it in the comment section um, down below so we can go ahead and, you know, give that to you guys. If you guys are asking for stuff, I want to go ahead and make sure that um, you guys are getting what you guys want. Um, and, uh, you know, please check out my affiliate link. If you guys are going to buy on TCG player, go ahead and, you know, use that code down there in the description. Um, it helps out the channel a lot. Um, you know, comment, like, subscribe. I really, really, really appreciate you guys and enough with the jibber jabber. Let's go ahead and get into it. And let's go ahead and start out by shuffling our, our deck here. We're going to go ahead and do just a quick power shuffle here. So we know that there is no funny business going on. go make sure that we are all shuffled up all right do a couple of shuffle of those there then we're going to do a proper cut just the middle cut all right so let's go ahead and see what we get here so we have this is a great going first hand um yeah, so what you want to go ahead and do, you have already two extenders and you have a Tribulanus which starts your plays. This is already a one card combo, so we're going to go ahead and uh, play this out. So this is your hand down here. We're going to go ahead and normal summon the Tribute effect. We're going to go ahead and Foolish Burial. Foolish Burial, a Mimicry. Here we go. We're going to send the Mimicry to the grave. Effect the Mimicry, we're going to go ahead and banish to go ahead and um, it's going to add... Uh, one Raid Raptor card. So we are going to go ahead. I, I normally like to go ahead and add the Bloom. If I already have, you know, two extenders here, the Bloom is going to be like another extender. Um, it summons itself plus another one. So if you if you do get stopped or whatever or anything like that, um, you automatically summon two on the field. And that's when you'll go ahead and Xyz into like your four Strix and like, like any rank four that you may want to go into. So at this point, now we're gonna go ahead and do Fuzzy. Fuzzy's gonna go ahead and special itself because I control a Ray Raptor. Now we are gonna go ahead, you can go into two lines here. You can go into the Y Strix, um, but we're gonna try and play it safe. Um, we don't know if the, if like the opponent is playing Nib or anything like that. So what I like to do is I, th I like to go ahead and just go into um, um, the Raider's Knight. But with the Raider's Knight, you are also um, playing into um, effect negation so if they have like an effect failure or an imperm if they use that on you because you don't have the raiders wing right now then that is going to hurt because um i can't bloom at i'm at that point because you don't control um wing beasts so because raiders knight is a warrior it it stops your plays pretty much essentially so um let's just go ahead and um go into wise here so we're going to go ahead and go wise Wise Tricks on Summon is going to actually special summon a a, a, a Wing Beast, I believe. See so what it says. Uh, one level four Dark Wing Beast. So you're going to summon the Wing Beast from deck. Its effects are negated while it's on the field. But I'm also going to Chain Link here. So Wise Tricks, Chain Link one, Chain Link two, Fuzzy to add another Fuzzy. So Fuzzy is going to add itself from deck to hand. All right, so you add the Fuzzy, and then this is going to special summon a Raider's Wing. All right, so now with that, I'm gonna go ahead now, since I already used Fuzzy's effect from hand, I can't special summon again. So I'm gonna go ahead and special summon my Strangolanius because I control a, a dark monster. We're gonna go ahead now and Xyz these two into Raider's Knight. Now Raider's Knight is protected, okay? You are playing into Nib here, but um, you care about the, um, the protection because most people are not main decking Nib, they're main decking effect veiler and imperm so you want to you know protect it against that first game two and three you can kind of you know go ahead and play 
play towards you know them having nib and stuff like that so effective raiders knight we're going to go ahead and detach um the strangle we're going to go ahead and um overlay a, a rank five on top of raiders knight now because i activated an xyz monster on my field the y shook is going to activate it's going to go ahead and set a rank up you're going to go ahead and set the skip force all right you're going to activate brave tricks now detach it's going to go ahead and set a raid raptor spell or trap you're going to go ahead and get the other rank up that's raid raptor it has raid raptor in its name so we're going to go ahead and set that one so right now we have both rank ups we only play just the two because we don't want to brick on them so we we do search these in the combo so you have this one is going to go ahead and target um the brave tricks to um rank up to uh a rank seven and then this one is going to actually be the one that gets you the rank 13 which is like the busted uh you know boss monster of the deck so let's go ahead and set this one down we're going to activate the skip force target this the uh brave tricks we're going to go ahead and um go into the arsenal fountain which is a rank seven all right um at this point your opponent can nib you here but you'll still get a towers monster because you have this um so it's not it's not all's not lost so so right now we're going to activate the arsenal falcon we're going to detach the brave tricks now we're going to special summon from our deck the monster that special summon is not negated so we're going to go ahead and special summon another strangle we did we did not activate the on field effect of strangle so we can still use it here which is great uh, we only special summoned it from the hand and that's a once per turn special summon from hand so um now we are gonna go ahead and um link these two off to go into another wise effective arsenal falcon it's gonna go ahead and use itself and special summon a raid raptor um exes from your extra deck and use it as material so it so it's gonna go ahead and be a material for the ultimate falcon here we're gonna go ahead and detach we are gonna go ahead and um the effect of the ultimate falcon says if you detach um an exes material from him he um your, your opponent is not allowed to activate any other card effects for the rest of the turn and any monster that they may have on the field are, are decreased by a thousand attack obviously it's the first turn so your opponent was it's not going to have anything but it's just preventing your opponent from activating anything so you force any negations out at this point um so no nibiru no imperm no effect veiler no anything from their hand or anything like that so you're safe now i can activate the effect of strangolanius because i control an exes monster actually i cannot do that actually because i do not have the material so i should have so sorry what you should have done was activate its effect to special summon because I controlled an Aziz monster. Bring back the Raider's Wing, then activate the Arsenal Falcon. All right, so now at this point, your opponent cannot activate anything else. Now we go ahead and overlay these two to go into four tricks. And um, we can go ahead and detach to search. We can go ahead and now search for follow up now for the next turn. So I like to get a Tribute Lanius. And. Um, So Tribulanus is in rotation now for next turn. I can also, um, because your opponent, um, if you're playing Branded, anything like that, I did mention this in the last video. If you are playing Branded and you know they have a Super Poly, um, they can Super Poly your Force Tricks and your Wise Tricks away. So then you can't activate your rank up. So what you can do is, because you have Bloom, activate Bloom, special summon this, as well as a Fuzzy. You're gonna go ahead and overlay into another Force Tricks. And now you're gonna activate Force Tricks to search for something else. Let's see, we can go ahead and search for, let's see. We can search for, the best extender I think we have is Strangle because we are gonna have at some point, we are gonna have, um, and Xyz monster so this will be a, a, like the best extender that we can have all right so now your opponent if they do have super poly it's not going to work because normally the, the super poly targets that people are running you're running um the garua and you're running the mud dragon so because of those 
you can't use two of the same monsters with the same attribute or types. They have to be different ones. So the main materials are going to be these two, if they do have those materials um, in the extra deck. Um, so you're safe from Super Poly. You're safe from any effects. You can go ahead and pass. Your opponent is going to go ahead and do their thing. And then on your turn, you, you're going to, on your opponent's turn, you're going to activate the rank up. And you are going to go ahead and target the Raiders Knight and the Brave Strix in your graveyard and target one of these monsters. You are going to go ahead and summon the big rank 13. And his effect says on summon, he's going to blow up your opponent's field. If he has uh, three Raid Raptors with different names, which you do, because you have a Four Strix, you have a Raiders Knight, and you have a Brave Strix. So you're going to blow up your opponent's field. Any monsters that are destroyed, your opponent takes damage equals to those attack. And you still have follow up in your hand for next turn. And you have a Ash Blossom. So um, these are towers, these are unaffected. So your opponent cannot target them with card effects. They're, they're completely unaffected by everything even your own effects. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, this is generally going to be game because you have a 3,500 towers. You also have a uh, 5,300 uh, towers because the Brave Strix is boosting him. Um, 100 attack per his level. So he's 13. So uh, 1,300 plus the 4,000 is 53. And just in case, um, you do have the Raider's Wing underneath him. So he is he can't be targeted at all. So yeah, so... This is what the deck can do based off of that hand. Let's go ahead and do another one and see what we can pump out. I hope this is uh, clear to you guys. You guys are you know, following along and you know, kind of understanding what you're trying to do with the deck. Um, if you also have any better routes as well, please let me know. I'm always trying to get better with this deck. This deck is pretty awesome. I like this deck a lot. And... Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do another another power shuffle. And this is going to be test hand number two. So thank you for sticking around. Let's go ahead and do another shuffle. We're going to go ahead and cut now, do our normal middle cut. Let's see what we get now. Wow, this hand is completely unplayable. I've never had a hand like this. Uh, yeah, these are the ones you don't really want to open. You want to open more names than, the, than these. And uh, I opened up uh, three hand traps. So, um, yeah, you're probably going to go ahead and pass here. You don't really want to commit... Um, here with this let's see what would have been a six card that would have been a better extender um so yeah so i'm trying to show you guys everything so um so you guys don't think that it's always you know busted every time so yeah we did open up uh, pretty bad there let's go ahead and do another one really quick i'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle again we keep it real here on the channel you know not always gonna open up broken so let's see so this is not actually not that bad it's actually pretty good. Um, so we did open this, so that means we don't have to search it. We open up the Roost. Roost is actually really good. It's good. Um, it's a really good recovery card, so it can it can replenish your resources. We do have a Foolish Burial as well, which is another great pseudo extender. Let's go ahead and start this uh, off. We're gonna go ahead and do another Tribute Lanius. I'm gonna send the Mimicry. Mimicry effect, Banish from Graveyard. We're gonna go ahead and search now. We already have the Strangle in our hand now. So let's go ahead and get another extender. Let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get a fuzzy. These are pretty much gonna be like the best extenders that you always search for besides Bloom because um, they special them from hand. So right now we are gonna go ahead and do Strangle. We're gonna go ahead and link these two off again. Wise Tricks. Um, then we're going to activate Wise Tricks. Special Summon Raider's Wing. 
we are gonna go ahead and activate fuzzy. Go ahead and exes these two. Gonna go into Raiders Knight, affect the Raiders Knight, detach. We are gonna go ahead and go into Brave. Now we have two things happening here. We have Rystrix because we activated Raiders Knight's effect on field. And then we also have Fuzzy. So um, nine times out of 10, I think I wanna go ahead and do Fuzzy Chain Link 1 because I don't want this to be ashed. And this is not really an ashable um, um, point here. So we are gonna go ahead, actually, your opponent can imperm or effect reload this. So let's go ahead. Actually, it doesn't really matter because effect really doesn't have to be um, in response to the last thing that happened. So either way, let's go ahead and do um, chain link one, chain link two. We are going to go ahead and set um, the rank up. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to also trying to bait out hand traps or try to like, you know, chain block some of them. Um, you can't you can't really block everything in the game because then obviously we're in a a tier zero meta <coughs> fire um you know you, you can't really block everything this deck is like a tier two rogue deck so um there are some some weaknesses to it but um you try and play it out the best you can so we're also going to add a fuzzy here because it was chain link one oops card fell my bad i'm gonna go ahead and add a fuzzy here because he was chain link one so we do uh set the rank up here so let's go ahead and activate it um actually let's activate this we're gonna go ahead and set um set our roost or no we have roost we're gonna go ahead and set the the glorious bright here all right this is what we have on field. We can activate the roost as well. We are gonna go ahead and activate the rank up. Go into this guy. We are gonna go ahead and uh, detach special from deck. Right. Effect of strangle. Strangle is gonna target fuzzy. Special those two to go into force. Do the same plays. So it's, it's, it's pretty repetitive. Activate arsenal, bring it back. Effect, your opponent cannot activate anything. Force tricks, um, search for another, another extender here. Hmm. You can search for bloom here. I know a lot of people like to go ahead and overextend as well. Um, I've seen people go ahead and activate the, uh, the what do you call it? Um, you can go ahead and activate the rank up as well. Um, target this with the Brave Strix and the Raiders Knight. Okay, um, then you can summon the rank up. So you have pretty much three towers. You're gonna go ahead and detach these um, to go ahead and copy a, a monster in your graveyard. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the on the Arsenal Falcon. We're gonna go ahead and detach to special summon from deck. Go ahead and do heal. Actually, let's not do heal because we have the foolish burial for heal. Let's go ahead and do Noir, Noir effect, target itself, it's gonna add pain. So this deck does a lot of searching, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Foolish Burial now, we're gonna send the heal, because heal's what actually allows us to get back the rank up. Send heal effect, banish itself to target the, the rank up, get to add it back to hand, I believe it's hand, right? Uh, yep, you can add it back to your hand. So now you still have it again. And at this point, you can go ahead and special summon this. You'll take 500 damage. It copies its level. Go into four Strix, effect of four Strix. We get to go ahead and search again. So this deck is <laughs> search on search on search. 
We're gonna get a tribute as well. So now we have follow up. We have we have the tribute Lanius as a one card. We have these two as extenders. We have the searchable imperm. We're gonna go ahead and set um, the imperm and the rank up. So we can target this on the opponent's turn um, to go into another one that blows up the field. And they, so your opponent has to deal with a tower, a tower, and another tower that we're about to summon, and another imperm. And if you drew any hand traps as well, but um, yeah. Oh, actually, I forgot to do roost. So we can normally replenish these cards so that way they are in rotation and we can send another Y Strix. So send the Y Strix back to extra deck, these two back to on the bottom of your deck and then draw one. And we have another extender. So look at that. We have uh, normal summon and three extenders. We have um, your trap card, which is a um, an imperm for, for any card really. So like if you're going to activate a spell or trap or monster effect, you can go ahead and negate that effect. And we have two towers, a third tower coming on on their turn that blows up the field and they take damage. So this is pretty much GG, unless your opponent has something crazy. But yeah, um, that was the second test hand. Again, we, we did brick that that uh, a second test hand, so it's not always gonna be broken. It's just, you know, how you navigate what that hand looks like and if you can put out something just to survive and get your plays going on the next turn. But let's go ahead and go for a another test hand just to show you guys we are at 20 something minutes here so let's go ahead and do this last one so you guys kind of get the idea of what we're trying to do again thank you guys for sticking around you guys are awesome appreciate you guys so much you guys are you know pretty much making this channel grow I can't wait to see if we can, you know, crack 500 soon, which is a pretty, pretty crazy milestone. You know, when I started last year, I started last year in May just for fun. You know, really, I, I didn't think that we were going to, you know, grow as much as we've done so far in the, in the past year. But yeah, we're at uh, almost 500, which is pretty crazy. Like, it's kind of mind blowing. Um, we're going to go ahead now and just do a couple shuffles here. Cut. Let's see what this hand brings us. We have a Foolish Burial. We have a Nibiru, a Nibiru, a Feck Veiler, and a Glorious Sprite. Wow, okay. Well, we're kind of saved by the Foolish Burial here. So we're gonna do this. We are gonna go ahead and send the, the Mimicry, Effect the Mimicry. We are gonna go ahead and do, let's see, is this even a one card combo? I don't even think so, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about this actually, guys. I'm trying to think. Um, if you guys see the line with the one card combo for Foolish, let me know. Because I'm trying to think and I don't think I see it. Hmm. I'm thinking of if I okay. So if I do tribute Lanius, he's gonna send something to Grave, but I don't think anything will special summon from Grave. Yeah, I honestly don't think I have a. Oh wait, I do. I do have a play. Sorry, hang on, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and add the tribute Lanius. Normal summon tribute Lanius effect. We're gonna go ahead and send Fuzzy. Fuzzy's gonna add another fuzzy because it just says if it's sent uh, to graveyard. So um, let's see. Uh, it just says if this card is sent to the graveyard, add one fuzzy. So yeah, so that is a one card combo. Look at that. I'm learning on the fly as we go too. So we're gonna add another fuzzy. Fuzzy's gonna special summon itself. We are gonna go ahead and overlay. Go into Raiders Knight, affect the Raiders Knight, detach to go into Brave. Brave Strix, effect, detach. 
Now, you are gonna have to go in, uh, you're actually gonna have to play into a lot of things since this, this was uh, the, the, least, the least optimal way to do it, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the rank up. Um, we're gonna add the rank up, um, activate it, target this. We're gonna go into Arsenal. Arsenal Falcon, you're gonna go ahead and detach um, to special from deck. Now we're gonna go ahead, let's see, what do we do here? We're gonna go ahead and go into, Strangle. Strangle effect, because I control one, I get to detach. Do I detach? No, you don't detach, so you just special summon. We're gonna go ahead and special summon, target the tribute, bring it back. Then we're gonna use these two to go into Wise. Wise, chain link one, arsenal chain link two. Bring this back. Then Wise is gonna special summon from deck. Raider's wing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go, actually, what did I do this for? I'm sorry, I meant to get the ultimate Falcon. I'm just not here today, I'm going too fast. I should slow down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's slow down, no reason to go fast. Um, so at this point, we're gonna activate the ultimate Falcon, detach, your opponent cannot activate anything else for the rest of the turn. Now we can go into four Strix, yikes, four Strix. Effects of the four Strix, we're gonna go ahead and detach to search for, a tribute for next turn as our one card starter because we do have a mimicry in our deck so we can send that in search and you know keep going for next turn and because i activated we're going to go ahead and set because i activated the force tricks effects and activate and i could have activated then as well um, so we're going to set this. So now we have that. We have the um, the Raid Raptor Imperm. We have the Rank Up. We have a Towers. <laughs> we also have um, Hand Traps as well. So what's crazy is, since we have the Nib, since we summon Tower Monsters, if your opponent tries to do anything that you know they're trying to beat over like their tower monsters if if we activate this we're going to nuke the field right first so they will take damage then if they um you know try to extend further than that um we can go ahead and imperm we have an imperm on field wipes their whole board again so it's pretty much two board wipes for them pretty crazy and then we also have an imperm i mean um an effect veiler and a, and a set imperm so it's a lot for your opponent to play through it, again if they had to have not opened anything um, to stop us because we had that one card combo that was very, very susceptible to hand traps and things like that. But um, I'm just showing you guys, like, I guess the max that you can kind of do with, with that hand. Um, so that one is probably like, not something you always want to see, but um, that is another one card combo. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please drop it down in the comments. I am always happy to help you guys. Um, you know, I, I feel like as a community, we're here to help each other, especially new players. I get a lot of new players, um, that say that like they like the videos and stuff like that and it helps them a lot. Um, so, you know, thank you guys for, for watching, for subscribing, for, um, for sharing. Um, you, you guys are the reasons why I do this. You know, I want to continue growing within the community. Um, if you guys aren't, you know, sign up to my discord, you know, go ahead and sign up. All the links are in the description down there. Um, use my affiliate link, um, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And um, yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say here. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, this is Brandon Lauren signing out. And remember, this is the way.